Hello. I apologize for the way I look. It is almost nine o'clock at night and I just got off a shift and um, I wanted to do a book review today, but I want to get an update because of how my skin looks right now. So I am wearing makeup right now, but as you can see, there's some peeling going on in these areas. So, um, I have been on a medication called isotretinoin. It's another form of Accutane. They do not call it Accutane anymore. They don't sell it as Accutane. They sell like generic versions now. So isotretinoin is a skin medication. It's meant to help with my acne and my uh, derriere disease, which is the skin disorder that I struggle with. I've been on it about a month now. Um, I'm gonna be getting a new prescription in a few days. I just ran out, so I'm gonna be with it for like the next four days, which is gonna suck. I should have it by Wednesday, because um, that's why I go see my doctor. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Um, so what it does is, one of the main side effects is it makes your skin very, very dry. So as you can see, it's super dry around my lips and I keep picking at it, which I shouldn't do because it just scars. But I wanted to film this video, I didn't want to take all my makeup off, so I'm just gonna look like this. Sorry. Yeah. But I promise, for anyone concerned, this is a side effect of a medication. It's not monkeypox or whatever the hell. It doesn't even look like monkeypox. Like from what I know of monkeypox, it's lesions and they're literally oozing the whole time. This is just dry skin. Like this is literally just dry skin that I peeled off. Like I get it on my lips so my lips get super chapped. Uh, my dry skin, mainly in this area, it's been the worst. And like right here on my cheeks. It's not as bad over here as it was. It's now just really here. Um, but since I've been on for a month, my skin's kind of getting used to it and it's like healing now. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing a book review today. I just finished this book recently and I wanted to do a book review because I haven't done one in a while. I haven't done a review in general in a really long time and I thought y'all sometimes like the reviews so I thought I'd do one. This is a book review of The Girl and the Goddess by Nikita Gill, Stories and Poems of Divine Wisdom. I just recently finished this. I actually bought this at Five Below. I don't know how old it is. Um, when was this published? Okay, this was published in 2020. Um, so this is by Nikita Gill. I don't think it's based on her life from what I know. She created this character. It's about, there's a main character throughout the story called Paro who is um, an Indian girl, and it's basically the story of her life from childhood to womanhood. Um, the stories are really nice, and the poems are beautiful. It is long, there is a lot in here. So the main themes of these poems is about, so the main themes are family. There's a lot of talk about family. It talks about the mom character, the father, her younger brother, um, her grandparents, that sort of deal. But it's set in like, I think the 60s and 70s kind of deal because they talk about partition at one point. So it might be later, it might be closer to the 90s. Um, but they talk about partition, which was when in India, the country was divided. Um, so people that were Hindu were like, Hindi were moved out of the country, like, like basically tortured by the government, like the white people and all that stuff. Um, so that's what this is about. It talks about family, it talks about sexuality because the main character is bisexual and it talks about being in a relationship with a girl and um, how um, homosexuality was illegal in India for a very, very long time. I still think there's still certain laws against it, but I don't know exactly if it's still fully illegal or if it's like partial, I think I think it depends on what area you live in there. Um, but it talks about that and how um, India is a very religious country. And by religious country, I mean Hindi and I mean those sort of religions and um, like that sort of thing. You know, like Middle Eastern, Asian religions. Um, it's not Christianity, it's a completely different thing. And the difference between the main difference is that 
in Indian culture, there is a pantheon of gods. Um, so there are multiple gods that they pray to. And a lot of the stories are her being visited by these gods after a traumatic event has happened in her life, teaching her these different things that she needs to know about navigating in the real world. So the concept is very interesting. It also talks about leaving home for the first time, um, going to university, uh, figuring out what you want to do with your life. Do you want to be a poet or do you want to go into being an illustrator? Um, you know, it talks about racism. Um, it talks about, uh, there's this poem where she talks about when she meets her roommates for the first time in university. And one of them mocks her accent and says out loud, I'm not your talking monkey. Like you can't, like tries to film her doing the accent. It's like, I'm not your entertainment. Like, I'm not here to entertain you. And the girl is like, it's just a joke. I'm like, okay, how about I mock you? Like, I'll mock you and you see how you feel about it. Like, I've had people mock my accent a bunch of times. It's not racism, obviously, because like, I'm white and I'm from an English speaking country. But I've had people mock me a bunch of times and you just, for me, I just deal with it and just go, hey, by the way, I have more intelligence than you, or hey, by the way, I don't shoot black people in the streets, but your cops do. Um, you know, it's different, you know? And then they'll be like, oh, I'm just saying a joke. And I'm like, well, I could switch it around for you. How about I mock you? Hi, sir. Hello, I'm gonna go fuck my cousin. You know, like that, that hurts your feelings if you say, Oh, my teeth are shit. I'm like, okay, at least I have mine. Like, you don't have teeth, so like, different. Um, but yeah, that's just me. You know? And it talks about that. It also talks about sexual assault and rape. So I will say there are a lot of subjects in this book that can be quite triggering for people. Um, I will say I did have a lot of reactions that were like, oh shit, we're going there. Um, but I will say this would be a book for someone who's in college. I would not recommend this to someone any younger than that because some of these subjects can be quite triggering. Um, I do think, I don't think, there's not a warning in the book. There's not like a trigger word like, hey, just so you know. Well, it says... Characters in this book persevere through, and it lists the things that you will encounter in this book. So anxiety, anxiety, bigotry, biphobia, body shaming, bullying, child abuse, depression, guilt, homophobia, internalized misogyny, misogyny slash sexism, poverty, racism, sexual assault, terrorism, violence, war. So those are just the main things you're gonna hear about in a lot of these poems. Um, I think one thing we have to understand when reading this book is that this is about someone who was raised, like, Nikita Gill, obviously this isn't directly about her because I don't think Nikita is queer. Um, so it says, with thanks to my parents, my grandparents, my brother, I think some of these things are about her. But uh, it's very much like she used a different name, she used characters kind of deals. Um, I would definitely recommend this. Like if you're someone who's a fan of poetry, if you're a fan of Nikita Gill, you probably already own this. I got this from Five Below. So that's pretty good. <laughs> um, well, not good, but like it's a good price. Um, it is the paperback version, which I'm fine. I don't mind paperback books. Um, but I would say if you are not prepared for the kind of subjects I just listed, then this won't be the book for you. I would say if you have personally been through stuff like this, which I have never been through some of the stuff she talks about, I haven't had to deal with racism, I have not had to go through terrorism, um, personally I have never had to gone through being separated from my family really. 
Um, I, I've gotten through some things, but there are some things in this book I will never have to go through. And that, that can be tough, you know, reading something and trying to, like, figure out, like, how would this, you know, make you feel. And it's like, that's not what the point of a book is. Like, you're not gonna always relate to the characters. I think that's the thing that a lot of readers have to understand is there are gonna be situations that you're gonna be like, but I don't understand how this works. It's like, that's why it exists. So eventually you will. Like, you'll read it and understand it. Um... I do think if you're a dickhead, then you probably wouldn't read this. I wouldn't recommend this to someone that doesn't have, like, the emotional sensibility to read it. Like, I feel like this book only works if you're someone who understands these subjects or has personally dealt with the subjects, but you may be triggered by the events in this book because it's, like, it's too close to home, which I completely understand. Um, but I would say if you're someone who has an open mind, an open heart, is a lover of poetry, is a fan of Nikita Gill and has read her poetry, I- this is the third book I've read of hers. I've also read Fierce Fairy Tales and I've read, um, Great Goddesses, which I actually have a review of. I Great Goddesses by Nikita Gill. I'm gonna link that up here. Um, because I'm a big fan of her work. Her poetry is really cool. I really like what she has to say and I follow her on Twitter and I also, I don't think I follow her on Instagram, but I follow her on Twitter. I might follow her on Instagram. Um, and I can't wait until her next book, uh, whatever it's gonna be. Um, I don't know a lot about Indian mythology. I don't know a lot about it. And this kind of opened my eyes to the kinds of gods that are out there. And the stories of these gods are so cool. And I've always been a Greek mythology nerd. But like any kind of godly mythology I'm a fan of. Um, Greek mythology is probably my favorite. But that's what every white queer person says. But I did like learning about the different gods that they have in their religion. And what they represent and their origin stories which are like really interesting and like not like something I've ever read before. I've I've never really read poetry and stories like this before. The illustrations also, Nikita does all these illustrations and if I could find one. I don't think there's as many in this book as the other books she has. This one's more poetry and stories but like there's this. She's got some cool illustrations in here. And there's this one. Uh, this is one of the goddesses that she mentions. Uh, that is the goddess uh, Lakshmi, which I've actually heard that name before. I've heard the word Lakshmi before. Um, here's another one. Her illustrations are super, super cool. I think that's what she went to college for, is actually illustration, illustrating, and then she started writing poetry again. So a lot of these things are, I think, about her childhood slightly. Um, like some of these poems are definitely stuff that she's gone through. Um, it's just some of these are other stories that other people have gone through and have experienced throughout their lives. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this um, as a fan of the Key to Gill and a fan of poetry itself. Um, so yeah, that was my review of The Girl and the Goddess by Nikita Gill. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews in the future. Comment what things I should review next. I don't see movies often enough to review them. Um, but I am trying to read more, so if you have any book recommendations, or if you want to pick a book from my shelf, I might do a book collection before I leave school. I am leaving for school, well, by the time this video comes out, I've already left for school. Um, I left for school on the 12th of August, so by the time this video comes out, I'm already at school, I'm already doing classes, probably. Um, <laughs> So that's something. Um, so yeah, uh, comment what things I should review next and hit the notification bell for a new video as soon as I can make a new one. Like I said, I'm back at school. I'm trying to film as many videos as I can before I go back. So a lot of these videos are gonna be filmed and then released later. So that's just something I wanna clarify to you all. Um, 
follow the social media links in the description below there is instagram there is tiktok there is tumblr there is my fandom blog there is my other blog there is twitter over here is going to be my last review don't remember what it was but it's going to be the last review i did and over here is going to be my reviews playlist and over here you can hit subscribe and these two links will also be at the bottom of the description below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye